If a tumor is not cancerous, does it still need to be removed? Well, I think that's one of these situations where biopsy really does come in. And there's certain hallmarks that we have of non-cancerous tumors, such as uh, if there's fat within the, bi within the mass, or, you know, we also, I think uh, what's important is to individualize care for the patient. So there's certain patients who are more prone, as we said, older males certainly, or old, even older women. So if somebody's a young woman with a small tumor, oftentimes that tumor may be benign. And you would, at that point, a biopsy may be helpful. Or if somebody is a older man, but you know, has had a tumor which you incidentally had found some years ago and you're able to follow that, again, that's a situation where a biopsy may be useful. So if a, and if we can definitively determine that a mass is not cancerous, then certainly it does not need to be removed. And certain, and there are often times where cancer may even be tumor, it may be cancerous, but not really an aggressive tumor. And the patient has other medical problems. We really prioritize those other medical problems versus aggressive treatment of the kidney cancer. I mean, I, I really think that's how our management of renal cancer has changed probably in the last decade, in that I think we have a more personalized approach to the evaluation of patients that have a renal mass. I think there's a lot more uh, discussion and evaluation of the patient's imaging, also taking a look at that patient, the age, the size of the abnormality, what other medical conditions are going on. It's very common for Dr. Salmon and I have these conversations. Um, there's calculators that we look at, and basically, I, I think it's really important. You know, if you see a small renal mass, right. Under, a set, under, let's say, two centimeters, which is less than an inch, um, these, you know, the chances that may be benign are much greater than one that may be larger, maybe four centimeters. So again, now we're using these type of, of findings, these type of uh, uh, patient classifications to have a better idea of how to manage them, more personalized for that patient. Right. We may decide, hey, let's get a biopsy in this particular patient because we think there's a good chance maybe this is benign and it'll totally change how we're going to manage it and hopefully save the patient from an invasive procedure that they may not need.